<coughs> Thank you so much. Uh, no, we did, I said before that we, we didn't start the way we, we, we expect, but which is sometimes this is not possible. I think I didn't expect uh, Arrows to press the way they did it in, in the beginning of the game. They were pressing quite high, quite aggressive. Uh, we were not really in control of our build up in the first minutes, not precise, almost from the, from the goal, uh, sorry, from the kickoff. Uh, we lost the ball, we conceded one corner, then we lost two, three balls in, in easy passes and we, we got a bit nervous in the beginning of the game. We couldn't get rid of their pressing, they did it well, uh, but I think they, 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 they paid the bill a bit uh, during the first half. Uh, I mean, the, the effort that they were doing in the pressing in the beginning uh, with uh, 32, 33, uh, plus 33, 32 outside. It's not easy to maintain, and we found our moment finally to to to. To punish uh, to punish them in in one action between Salen and Shandu, in one of the scenarios that uh, we knew that we we could create uh, we can create problems to them. Uh, the, the most difficult was done in, in, that, in, that, in that moment. We went to the half time, uh, we readjust a bit our defensive phase as well. We changed to 4-3-3 uh, and uh, with uh, two substitutions. Uh, the beginning of the second half was promising. I think we have a good chance just before the, just after the, the, the whistle, the first whistle in the second half. But then the, the, the game becomes a bit, uh, how can I say, like ugly, not, not, not really under control, with uh, a bit nervous. Uh, it's not an easy situation to manage after maybe uh, the last, last two results. And, and, and I think in that moment of the game, Arrows was better when, the, when they score. I think it was it was fair, let's say you know the the draw in that moment of the game. And well, after that, it it, it goes without saying that it was a very emotional moment in the end of the game. We put all in in order to to take to collect that goal that we need, and the guys were doing an excellent job until the end. And today we were we were the lucky team to to score two two goals in the end, and 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 you know. Yeah, get the three points, which is in the end uh, one of the one of the most important things. Not the only one, but one of. Season possibly. What did they do this week to convince you to bring them on um, in this game? I think uh, again, as I said many times. Uh, with, uh, with the, the players that we have in the squad, the quality we have in every position and the, the forwards department is not an exception. Uh, it, the competence is difficult, it's difficult to make it to be in the start 11. Uh, it's, it's also very difficult to make it to be in the 20 list. So when the players are there on the field, it means that they were, they were having a good time during the week. We really believe uh, in our, our training process. Uh, so the, the ones who were today in the 20 list is because they, they did a good job, all of them, during the week. Um, in, in, in this case, as an individual, I'm so happy that, uh, um, how can I say, it was uh, justice that he came in against all the odds. Uh, he was very bad received uh, and he, he managed to score a goal, which is going to be very important for the team. And that's why they are here to to go there, do their best, and if we all uh, help and help them to do it, and if we all uh, support them, you know, in, in 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 difficult moments, because it's not the same to go to the field 20 minutes when you are leading 3-0, than going with the responsibility to change the result. And I think that Terrence and and other players who came from the bench did a fantastic job. Uh, not only because finally we can we can you know see the goal here in our hands it's it's a reality uh, also because you know 
not, not playing regularly, coming to the game uh, in a very difficult scenario, maybe other players will say, you know, it's not my world, it's not my, 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 my business here tonight. And you can see that it was totally opposite. So I'm so happy that in this case, uh, Vincent or, or Terrence uh, will, will have a good night. Coach, congratulations on your victory. Thank um, you. Coach, um, I know you have to rotate your players. Um, with the depth of uh, defenders you have, central defenders you have, how do you feel about um, a Tapeda Kogi and Tuzo Spilip's partnership? Because I remember it was the last time, I don't remember if it was ACS Galaxy or Amazon where they miscommunicated and both injured themselves. But today, it was a sort of a miscommunication that led to a goal. Um, does that give you a headache in selecting uh, a partner, a central defensive partnership or to what to make this? Thank you. Oh, uh, two, two, two things. To, to be honest, I, when they scored the goal, I was not uh, watching. Uh, we were uh, talking about uh, possible substitutions, and when I when I start watching, the action was uh, in the end of the action when when they you know just the final touch. So I, I don't know exactly what what happened in the goal, um, but uh, the, the the headache is general when you when you manage a, a huge squad like like in terms of uh, numbers and quality. The, the headache is permanent. Uh, but that's part of our job, you know. It's 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 difficult to select the star eleven in in every position. To be honest, I'm lucky to to say that because that means that we have good players and they are working well. If they are not working, then it's easy for me to decide who's gonna play. Uh, but in our case, we we are very lucky with the group of players that we have, and uh, I think it's not it's not a question mark for anyone that uh, Tapelo Klocki and, and CBC are doing a fantastic season, like the rest of our defenders. Coach, congratulations with the results. Thank you. From Coach, I know it's still early days, but uh, would you say that uh, Scott's contribution, you know, producing those kind of results, like helping players, you know, find the back of the net, showing teams of what it is you can do moving forward uh, in, the, in the games to come? I want to uh, always think that the contribution of all the members in the staff is is very important, uh, and it is. How how the game is going nowadays, it is. So you're talking about one more element in the staff. So his contribution is there, and if he's here working with us, it's for a reason. And uh, today, in the conditions we play and. It was very demanding for all of us. The support staff, the technical staff did a fantastic job. We have to make a, a lot of decisions before the game, uh, during the week, uh, during the game today, in the last 20 minutes. Uh, Jesus, we, we did, uh, we, we were around, you know, three, four, five different possibilities in order to take that goal. So I, I cannot do it alone. The, the relevance of the coaching staff nowadays is uh, obviously very important. It goes without saying. So I want them, all of them, to feel that they are important, that they are part of today's victory, and, and Scott is not is not an exception. Joseph from Sports Coach, I hear you talking about the number of the, the, the size of the squad that you have. I mean, some teams have only got 24 players, 25, and on on the day you only have 20 to choose from. What is your ideal squad, coach, and what is it, squad number rather, and what is it that you're looking for? I think we've never spoken about this. What makes you um, look at the players and say, fine, I can go for six defenders, I can go for uh, six maybe midfielders. What's your composition of the squad, and what do you look at before you put up a team? Just a technical background of that. <sighs> It's a difficult question for a post match like this. Uh, I'm, I, I'm working. <laughs> I'm, I'm just working, you know, hand to hand with uh, with uh, with uh, the management of the club in order to have, uh, you know, the best squad that we can have. Uh, the number is, is is just a number. I have to adapt myself to 
to to work with this number i'm i'm happy to do it uh we try to it's it's complex because we 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 try to make them all of them feel the same and we have a limited time to to work and to to share minutes and but like i said before it's part, it's part of my role it's difficult to to select it's difficult it's difficult to determine which one is the number it depends i've been working in other clubs in in in, in europe with a short squad uh, with uh, squads with more experience, with less, you you have to adapt yourself, and and I'm learning a lot uh, this season with the size of the squad in in terms of uh, uh, how to to keep everyone as much involved as possible in the in the process. Uh, it demands uh, a, a lot of efforts for for me, but especially for the guys because. They are the ones who wants to play. All of them, they are really wanting to play. They are working during the week to play, and I'm the one who is saying, "No, you are not going to play this week." So keep that relation. You know, it's 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 complex, but this is what we like to do. So uh, I cannot tell you one number. I, I, you know, we we want good players, and we are lucky in Pirates that we have a, a, a good bunch of uh, good players in in our hands. The last three questions. Thank you, uh, good evening, coach. Congratulations on the victory. Thank you, uh, coach. This club has always demanded you know 100 percent and more uh, right mm. through the Redsen era, and here you are now. Uh, I'm just want to focus on the two goals scored in scored in at a time. Uh, how do you instill that that confidence, the arrogance, and, and the guts and grit of these players to never drop their heads? Because those two goals really changed the confidence of the game. So how do you instill that confidence for these players to keep on going and fighting for the badge? Well, first because they they know where they are, they they know uh, uh, where they are they are playing and and, and, and performing. So we all know uh, that we need to do our best because there's uh, uh, a lot of you know eyes following us and uh, monitoring us. So we we are in a in a team that we cannot have a break if we speak about performance. And then because they are they are good competitors, we. One of one of the things that we do during the week, almost in every exercise, in every scenario that we propose, is compete. And they like to win during the week. And usually, yeah, in in general, everyone who is there behind me in this room, they are all very competitive. It's people that when when we don't win, they don't they don't sleep. Uh, if I don't win, I don't have dinner. I don't have sleep. I don't have breakfast. I have nothing you know it's too much sometimes i have to say and for the players it's the same even though you can think that they don't care it's not true they suffer and they know what it means today finish the game with three points or not so they did what you suppose you know what you have to do in these circumstances go until the end and maybe you know have more, you know, braveness than hopes. Sometimes it's, it's going to help you in these type of circumstances. It's something that I say to myself permanently, and you know, it's one of the principles that we follow. Thanks, Jenny. Ramirez from the south. Coach, who the player who challenged Suzuka Major um, wasn't shown so great support, so much great support before he came on. Um, some fans were not happy with that, but then he shut them up by giving them a goal, and he was very emotional after the match. Um, was it because of the, the, the same uh, reason for not being supported by the fans before he came out? I didn't talk to Terrence that actually I don't I don't even need it. Like I said before, I think that uh, when when we are in a situation in a scenario like we were with one one playing home, not playing so well, but trying, uh, we need everyone pushing us, supporting us. And Terrence came to the field to to defend the the, 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 the team, to defend the club. And, and, you know, it's always better if we all, you know, support him and trust him. Uh, once once I say that, the, 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 the fans or the spectators or however you want to call them, they are they have the right to express themselves and what they like and what they don't. But uh, we need to understand also that 
it's going to be always much more better if we do it after the game. You know, the game finished, we can express ourselves, we can say if we are happy or not, like I do sometimes when I'm going inside. But when we are looking for that goal, we need everyone involved. When we, when we start here together, I said that it's going to be important that the, the fans are playing the games with us, that we play the games together, and that's exactly what, what it means. And in a moment like this, we need the 100% the of the support and the, the pushing from the stands. And uh, in the end, we probably we are making a, 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 an issue uh, of uh, something minor. I think the, the fans today, they were pushing us in, in numbers until the end. And maybe there's people that can be against me also sometimes. It's OK. But the players, it's different. I think they need to feel that you know we play in home the ho the whole time, no matter what is the result, no matter what is the situation, all in until the end, all together. Another question. Coach um, Wada for holding the game today. Thank you. Uh, Charles from SABC. Coach, you admitted that you were lucky to win a, a home game. It shows that uh, there's a lot to to work on. Which areas do you think you have to improve uh, going for? I don't know if, if we were lucky or, or not. Uh, it's something that you need to win games. Everyone needs to be a bit lucky, I'm telling you. Even the, even the, the best team that you can, you can think. Areas to improve everything, as usually. We need to, I'm not happy that we concede one goal. I'm not happy with the fact that we lost the, the advantage that we have in a game. Uh, I'm not happy with... Uh, with, uh, but with with myself, no, I'm not talking to the, I cannot ask for more to the players today. Like I said, with plus 33 in these circumstances, with a good team in front who approached the game, in my opinion, uh, very well, they did everything, everything we asked them to do. We need to we need to be more accurate. Also, we need to help them much more during and and before the games, and uh, those are the areas that we need to improve. And then put it together during the week and try to to make sure that against Stellenbosch, we are a, we are a better team. That's the, that's the idea, that every week we try to be better or try to show that we are, do we, we are doing the homework during the week. And I think in many areas, in many departments today, we show it. And if you want to be lucky in football, you have to look for that portion of luck. You know, if you are passive, if you are not really, you know, it's not going to happen just because you want it. You have to fight even when you are not precise. Like we were not precise today in our football, in our passes. We lost a lot of balls that we shouldn't. But still, the team was looking and trying to find that lucky that, that you mentioned before. On that note, we come to the conclusion of our press conference. Thank you, Coach. Um, Thank you. Thank you for your time.